Hey everyone, welcome back. Happy Friday. I hope you guys have had a really good week. I know in England, this is probably the first week that you're in lockdown. So I hope you're all doing okay. If you're from England, in Wales, we've kind of just come out of lockdown. But yeah, I just wanted to check in. Comment down below if you guys are okay. Also, how are my American friends doing with the election? I hope you're happy. I don't want to get into politics, but I'm happy for you, if that says anything on my stance. <laughs> anyway, enough serious chat, let's get into some makeup, shall we? Today I'm so excited to be doing this review. I'm gonna be testing out the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've seen quite a few people talk about this and rave about this, but a few of the posts that I've seen have been sponsored. So I just wanted to test it out myself and see if it is any good, if it's gonna work for my skin type. If you're new, hi, I'm Kirielle. <laughs> I have combo to oily skin. I'm very fair. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my complexion already. Even though I do have more oilier skin, I do tend to go for more glowy foundations just because I like the way they feel on my skin. And I do have slight texture and my pores are a little bit enlarged so I find matte foundations can sometimes hinder the look of my skin. So I tend to go for more glowy ones, surprisingly. But because of the rave reviews I've heard about this, I really wanted to try it out and see if it's gonna be a matte foundation that's gonna smooth out my skin. Is it gonna make it look really nice? So that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I have the shade Light Zero Siberia, which I believe is their fairest shade. I bought this on Boots when there was a 20% off sale. It originally retails for £28, which is quite expensive, but I managed to get it for 23 when it was on offer. Keep an eye out for Black Friday sales. I got this from Boots, so maybe there'll be an offer on around that time as well. And obviously that's coming up on the 27th of November, I believe. So keep an eye out if you are planning on purchasing this. I believe NARS is available at Debenhams also and online on places like Look Fantastic, and they do have their own websites. It's pretty wildly available. I think John Lewis also has it. So you should be able to pick this up in many different places. Even though it is a higher price tag, you do get a little bit more foundation in here. It's 45 mil, which is 1.5 fluid ounces. Typically foundations are 30 mil. So it is a little bit extra for the price, which I don't know if it works out, but you get a little bit more, even though it is a bit pricier. This is what the actual packaging looks like. I've got fingerprints all over mine because I've clearly used it. It's a soft matte packaging and it's actually a squeezy packaging, which I do really like. But yeah, enough about the outer packaging. Let's get into the claims on this foundation. This is supposed to be a medium to full buildable foundation with a natural soft matte finish. It's supposed to have 16 hour wear, it's oil free, and it's supposed to be oxidization resistant. So the shade is supposed to be a true shade match and it's not supposed to change throughout the day. It's supposed to be shine proof, transfer proof, and also humidity proof and sweat proof. Okay, there's a lot of proofs. <laughs> and it's supposed to protect you from pollution and blue light, which is interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen a foundation with a blue light protection before. It's available in a moderate 34 shades, which is a decent shade range. I feel like they could definitely have a deeper, richer category because there's only like, I'd say seven deeper shades and then all of them are like medium light. But saying that, the light category can be a bit finicky as well, but what's new? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, that's it for all the boring kind of information stuff. This thing has a lot of claims, so let's test them out. So if you want to see how this wears on combo oily skin and how it applies and everything, then just keep on watching. First, let's get into some swatch comparisons of this shade. All right, swatch time. So the first one is obviously the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. Next over is is the Fenty Pro Filter in the shade 110. Then we have MAC Studio Fix in NW10. I think I'm more N4, to be honest, because this one is very dark. Then I have the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 03 True Ivory. Next over is the Born This Way by Too Faced in the shade Cloud. Then I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F.7. Then I have the NYX Born to Glow Foundation in the shade Pale. And then finally, I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Glow Foundation in the shade F.03. Please ignore my hair and everything, okay? I'm aware it looks like a mess, um, but it's just one of those days where I can't be bothered to do anything with it, so. <laughs> anyway, let's get into this foundation. I'm gonna be doing my usual, and I'm gonna be trying it with a sponge and a brush to see which finish I prefer, how it applies, etc. You guys would have seen the swatches by now, but I have not looked at this foundation yet. <laughs> 
<laughs> I believe this is the lighter shade, which is Siberia. Now it's very yellow. I did previously have Narsia Glow in Siberia, so I can make it work, but I do kind of struggle with Nars foundations and complexion products just because they're either very yellow or very pink. There's no kind of like in between, which I prefer. I prefer like a neutral typically, but if not, I will go for a yellow tone. So that's what I went for with this. I really like the packaging of this. It's very sleek. I feel like you'll be able to get like all of the foundation out in this as well. And it has like their like classic soft touch kind of feel to it. So it feels luxe, it feels nice. Let's see how it performs. <laughs> I've already moisturized and I've used my usual, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer just on my more porous areas. It's a little squeezy tube, that's cool. Let's check out the consistency. Oh, okay, it's very watery, which I really wasn't expecting. I thought it'd be a little bit thicker. I'm gonna add a little bit more and just work off the back of my hand. So that works out, I think, to about one pump probably. I'm just gonna dot it on my face so it's like a little bit more controlled. And I'm first of all gonna go in with my sponge on this side. It literally feels like there's nothing on my skin. I didn't use that much product, but <laughs> this is weird. Okay, so I think the shade will work for me compared to like my neck and chest. Oh, I forgot to do my chest watch, which I usually do. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, my face has a lot of redness, but my actual skin tone is pretty yellow slash neutral and I'm a lot fairer on my neck and chest compared to my face so I always like to match myself to those areas so I don't like have like an orange face you know <laughs> so I'm just gonna swatch on my chest area to see what it looks like so as you can see it's very yellow but once it's like blended out and kind of oxidizes a little bit it does suit me quite well so obviously i just added like a very condensed amount on my chest so that's it blended in it works well on my face because it cancels out all the redness but it is just very yellow <laughs> so with that tiny amount i've got like i'd say almost medium coverage like i barely used anything it's quite impressive i'm gonna add a little bit more i'm just gonna use whatever's on the back of my hand with my sponge and just tap over to get more coverage. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Why's everything gone? <laughs> like that's pretty much got rid of my freckles, which are stereotypically very hard for me to actually cover even with like full coverage foundation. And I don't mind my freckles being visible, so I don't usually care, but damn. Literally, it feels like there's nothing on my skin at all. It's still drying down a little bit, but the finish looks really nice. It is a soft matte finish. It does have like a more lifelike appearance to it. One thing I will say is that it's not gonna smooth over texture. I do have like enlarged pores around the center of my face. And to me, you can still kind of see them, which isn't a bad thing. I don't really care. Everybody has pores, <laughs> but it's not like a smoothing foundation from what I can see. Anyway, I'm gonna put around about the same amount on the back of my hand because I did absorb a lot with the sponge and we're gonna do the same with the brush. What I like is it seems that you have a little bit of wiggle room with the amount of time. It doesn't seem to set down too fast, especially for a matte foundation. You have like a slight bit of playtime with it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more product. Texture wise, I definitely prefer the sponge over here. It's just a little bit more blotchy. And around my pore area, it's done that thing where it's kind of like made little pockets of foundation, you know, where it looks like it's kind of like sunk into your pores and it's not like over the surface area of your face. It's kind of done that. I definitely prefer the sponge side. I'm just gonna go over quickly with the sponge and just kind of even myself out a little. Okay, so with a little bit more product in my sponge, it smoothed out my pore area, which is great. Feels so lightweight, like I'm not wearing any foundation. Like I can't feel anything. And the matte finish is very real right now. It's hard to describe. I look at my face straight on and I look completely matte. But then from where the sunlight is hitting me, I can see like a sheen to my skin. So it's very lifelike, but from the front, I look very matte. <laughs> I will just say there are a few areas, so like around my nose area, there's a little bit of texture there. So it's picking up on that quite a bit. And also I have tiny little fuzzy hairs on my nose and you can definitely see all of those. 
so that's great. Apart from that, it's looking nice on my skin. I wouldn't say it's my favorite foundation, just because it is looking a tad dry. I guess. But nevertheless, I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. It's now 12.02, so just the afternoon, but I tend to stay up quite late, so <laughs> this will probably get around 12 hours of wear. I'm gonna go finish up my makeup. I'll probably change as well. And yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like with a full face. See you in a second. All right, you guys, so my makeup is all done. I did something with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't look a complete mess anymore. <laughs> I just did some natural makeup today because I'm just running some errands. It's now seven minutes past one, so it's been on for like an hour around that. My skin is actually looking pretty good. And now that it's kind of sat for a little bit, I feel like it's warmed up to my skin and it looks more flawless now. I still have like a little bit of texture around my upper lip area but it's not as bad as it was earlier. I haven't powdered this foundation, I haven't added setting spray. I use pretty much like all cream products as well on my skin and I didn't have any issues at all with blending over this matte foundation which is great news. So far I'm really liking the way it's looking. So I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I will be wearing a mask with this so hopefully it doesn't rub off around the base of my face. We shall see. But yeah, so far I'm really happy. I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's been a few hours. <laughs> it's now 25 to seven. So this has been on for, God, has it really been like nine hours? That's insane. Okay. <laughs> So I've been out and about doing some Christmas shopping. So I have been wearing a mask for quite a few hours and I just thought I'd show you like the kind of transfer that I've got. There is like a tiny bit of transfer on my mask. Quite a bit of it is my lipstick. I actually think that's really good for a foundation. It's basically like my nose and chin where it's been like in close contact with it, but it hasn't rubbed off too much if you know what I mean. So as far as like it being transfer proof and stuff, I'd say it's not 100%, but it's pretty good. Now let's look up close and personal, see what we're dealing with. It's looking pretty good. I mean, obviously the kind of center of my nose, it's pretty much all gone because I've been wearing my mask and also on the edge of my chin. But the rest of it, like on my face, it's still very visible. <laughs> the texture on my upper lip is still kind of there, which is a bit unfortunate, but the rest of my face looks pretty good. Obviously I'm a little bit oily. The softbox light is making it a little bit more drastic than what it actually is. I'm pretty matte considering I've been wearing this all day. Got a little bit of shine here and obviously on the center of my forehead. But if you're a regular on my channel and you've seen my other foundation reviews, you guys know I get oil like everywhere, around my cheeks, everything. So it's looking so good. I probably would touch this up now though, obviously like around my nose, get rid of the oil and stuff like that. But apart from that, I'm pretty impressed. One thing I do have to say is that I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation at all. This is one of the most lightweight foundations I think I've ever tried. <laughs> So I don't mind wearing it for longer because I literally don't feel anything on my face. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably gonna jump into my PJs now. Maybe watch a Christmas film, maybe do some Christmas wrapping. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill. And I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. See that. All right, you guys, it's that time of day where I need to wash all this off and go to bed. I am so tired and this bright light is blinding me. <laughs> it's now six minutes past 12 in the evening. So yeah, I've had this on for over 12 hours now, I believe. I've been chilling and everything, so I've probably been leaning on my face a little bit more, so we shall see how this looks right now. <laughs> so it's worn off a little bit more on my chin and it's kind of faded a little bit around here. I've probably been leaning on my face, so that's just it wearing off with me leaning and probably rubbing it off, you know? I'm not looking that much more oily than I was earlier, which is kind of crazy. Like I've still got the oil here, in the center of my forehead, you know, all of that. But generally I don't look that much more oily than I did earlier. My skin still doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like there's anything on it to the touch. It does feel obviously oily. And when I'm doing that, I can kind of feel it coming off on my fingers a little bit. So it is a little bit movable now, but it has been a long time 
so I definitely want to try this one a little bit more but from first impressions I do quite like it there's bits and pieces that I'd like to change for example the kind of texture I had in the beginning and just the general kind of smoothness but that kind of stuff can be fixed with primers like I'd love to try it with the origins pore perfecting primer because that really smooths out the skin for a matte foundation which I typically don't go towards these days even though I have oily skin it looked really good and didn't look too dry and powdery it really did just kind of melt into the skin really nicely um, and overall looked quite good and it was so lightweight and has lasted a really long time also the shades really good for me as I said it is virgin on the yellow side but when it's on my actual skin it blends in really well with my skin tone so love that hope you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you I'm obviously going to keep on using this so I'll let you guys know in a future video what I think if I still love it so if you're new and you're just now stopping by don't forget to subscribe hit the red button down below and the little bell button so you get notified of all my future uploads including any update videos and yeah that is it from me I'm gonna go wash this off and then jump into bed <laughs> yeah I hope you guys are having a lovely day give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I hope to see you on the next one till then Bye guys.